Some grade 8 students, I'm going to solve a question related to subtraction of algebraic fractions. Then, as you can see, they don't have the same denominator, so we are going to try to see the same denominator for both fractions. First of all, I'm going to write the first denominator, which is P2, the second denominator, as you can see, Q and R. Then, I'll try to figure out which is... Uh, which letter uh, I need, which letter should I need, or which letter should I write next to these two uh, fractions. First, uh, first denominator is, as you can see, uh, R is missing. The second denominator, as you can see, unless a circle around it, the second denominator, P is missing for the second denominator. So I'm going to move uh, P and R next to these letters and let's move R uh, it will be P times Q times R as you can see and P will be next to Q and R and it will be P to R as you can see w if we multiply R uh, if you multiply P Q by R uh, for the first denominator and for the second denominator if I multiply Q R by P I'll see the same denominator. So let me write R for the first for the first denominator. And I'll multiply both numerator and denominator. For the second denominator or for the second fraction, I'll just multiply by P. And for both numerator and denominator, I should multiply. Then I'll just write seven times R over P times Q times R, the denominator will be P times Q times R, minus 6 times P, because you know uh, if we multiply, 6 times P and denominator will be P times Q times R. It's easy now uh, to write the answer because they have the same or they have the common denominator. These two fractions have the common denominator, which is P Q R and 7r minus 6p will be our answer okay let's show two more examples then the second example as you can see these two algebraic fractions have the same denominator so I just add them up writing on the same denominator x squared minus 1 and and first numerator is 3x, second numerator is 3. I'll just add them up. 3, and uh, I need to group these two numbers uh, if I would like to simplify. It's easy to simplify. 3 times the group. The group is x plus 1. Uh, we can see easily, or we can watch the previous videos to understand how to group algebraic expressions. But I, I'll just uh, show you a little bit using this green color. 3 times x, uh, which uh, will give us the first term. Uh, 3 times 1 will give us the second term. And it is, the, uh, it is easier to say. Over x squared minus 1. And we need to see, I'm going to erase it. And I'll tell you, x squared minus 1, we have learned it, x squared minus 1 will be x minus 1 times x plus 1. Then I'm going to simplify x plus 1 and x plus 1. x plus 1 cancels x plus 1 out. So finally, we will have 3 over x minus 1. So please pause the video and uh, watch again or try to do by yourself. Okay, the third example is 4 over a plus 1 plus 3 over a and it's equal to and we need to we need to see the same or common uh, denominators as you can see they don't have the they don't have the same uh, or common denominators so the first denominator needs a uh, and I'm going to multiply both the second fraction, the second algebraic fraction, needs 
a plus 1 to make the same denominator or to see the same denominator. So let's multiply a times 4, 4a, four then 4a over a times, and let's uh, write the parentheses in the parentheses, a plus 1 plus second algebraic fraction will be 3 times the group, the group will be a plus 1 over a times a plus 1. Finally, we are going to write over the same denominator, a plus a times a plus 1 a times a plus 1 and the numerator will be 4a plus 4a plus 4a plus and I'm going to distribute 3 inside of the parentheses 3 times a 3a let's distribute 3 times a 3a plus 3 times 1 is 3 finally let's add them up 4a plus 3a as you see, as you can hear, four apples plus three apples, they have the light, they have light terms, they are, they are light terms, I'm sorry. So 7a plus 3 over a times a plus 1 will be the final answer.